Oh, Spyro enjoyed himself too much. He's sitting in his own jizz. Hey guys, welcome back to Spyro the Dragon. That's the intro. It is. Thank you, Spyro, for recovering so many of our dragon eggs. Hop aboard for the Beast Maker's world if you are ready. No, I'm just going to stay here. I'm, I'm not ready. Kyle's <laughs> told me bad things. Now nah, it looks because like, he was <laughs> he was saying like before he hit record, it's like why do you start at the beginning of the world? And I'm like, ah, this isn't so bad. Beastmaker is like every time you start back at the beginning, you gotta wait for you gotta do some waiting and standing for platforming timing and shit. It's dumb. <laughs> Just walking you through this this hub world's kind of annoying. I also mark my words. I think I think this might be like the roughest world in the entire game. Also because this level has treetops and it has Misty Bog will definitely kill you a lot. Like you'll get game overs a lot. Misty Bog is brutal in terms of difficulty. Treetops is brutal in terms of like finding where the fuck everything is. The flight level isn't easy either. This world just actually kind of oh, sucks. Oh god, yeah, this is the world four, so it's got that f air flight level, which is just as bad as Flunny Shite. I th I think if I'm rem remembering it right, I think that wild flight was pretty tough. Yeah. Right. So obviously that shit doesn't look good. Mm, yeah, no, I wouldn't fall into that. Yeah, here's the aforementioned waiting for platforming timing. Not really platforming, but still, you get the picture though. Oh, what is that? Is he electrocuting the floor? Yes. Fuck that. Then. Anyway, let me feed this yep. dragon. Bruno! If we got nothing else to say, I, I, I want to nitpick something in the remake. <laughs> That's cool, yeah. Go for it whilst I just go through this shite. <laughs> yeah, sure. You just, um... Because here, here's the thing, actually, I think that the remake is, like, damn near perfect. The only thing that really, truly bothered me is Tom Kenny's uh, voice acting. voicing of, of of just the first Spyro. Yeah. The Spyro's 2 and 3, he, re he reprised his role. And it's weird because, I, as far as I know, nobody likes Spyro's original voice. Everyone hates how nasally it is, and I get that. But this guy actually played the character. Like, the, the, that dragon you skipped, I remember his dialogue is, is freaking hilarious. He, he says, like, ah, oh, Nasty North just turned, like, our swamp into this horrible junk heap. And it used to be so beautiful. And Spyro's kind of like, I'm, I'm sure it was. <laughs> like, 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 With unsure sass. how this could ever, how this could ever be beautiful. <laughs> but, like, then in the remake, like, they just had Tom Kenny just, like, read the lines, like, however he thought it works, and it just didn't work, because, like, <laughs> he, like, Tom Kenny's version sounds, like, genuine, like, it used to be so beautiful, and Spyro's like, I'm sure it was. Oh my god, yeah. It's it looks it looks like a utopia. Fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, it's like they they wanted to keep Spyro's voice the same across all three games, which makes sense. But that also meant his character is the same across all three games. Yeah. He isn't, the, he isn't the he isn't the little asshole he is in the first game. <laughs> they just didn't that did not translate over. Yeah, but it's like it's like if you get a script, it's not like read with attitude or read with sarcasm. It's like hi, if I'm you get Spyro. A good, a good voice I'm fluid in sarcasm. Yeah, maybe if you had a good voice actor, maybe someone who could sort of interpret that clearly, no. it was... No, no, you need, you need a good director, somebody to tell the actor yeah. how to say these lines. Or maybe someone maybe some who's actually just played the first fucking game. Like the original <laughs> yeah, one, just too. gone, hey, this is what, the, the this is the sort of charm. No, that was bollocks. Bet you knew that was coming, and I didn't. I did, yes, I was waiting for that. <laughs> that was just like, surprise, motherfucker! Oh. Turn the corner, like, hey, that's fair, thank you. Oh, see the sun down there. Whee! Ah, I was wondering if you'd, if you'd, if you'd find that, because, yeah, you, you saw the first the first one full of the green stuff, and you're like, don't jump in there, and oh. I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There's the flight level. Yep. This looks, I'll come back here later. In as you should, <laughs> if, you, if you want to keep things consistent and you know do the flight level, you know before the boss, yeah. Yeah. Let me see how many three hundred in this one. Oh, there's only two dragons, so I mean the world doesn't look too big, but it's obviously segmented. Basically. Actually, funny. Um, for me on my Spire playthrough, I did everything completely perfectly in order until this world. On this world, <laughs> I yeah, I com I completed the home completed the home world, completed um village terrace. And then next episode, suddenly I was in Nashi's world. I'm like, hey, I'm here because I can be here now because I've gotten everything. <laughs> Sometimes I think that's the way to go, uh, though. I don't know why, but I like doing that. I, I like having a game and to show you, like, hey, here's the bare minimum to, to beat the game. And now I'm going to beat the game and go backwards and show you how much more there is. I don't know why I like doing that. I'm doing the exact <laughs> same thing with Hollow Knight. And yeah, there's a treetops level also. I know, I just That'll saw it and I was about to comment. 
That's why I go, oh, he here's your, here's your fifth level, Carl. <laughs> That's funny, isn't it? No. Right, so I need to... Like I said before... I take it, this is timing based. Alright, I have to kill him. There you go. Yeah, like, like, like I said before, Treetops is not my least favorite level, but it is by far, like popular opinion, the most infamous level that everybody else hates. I had more trouble with Haunted Towers, personally. <clears throat> yeah, it seems quite obnoxious. Well, Haunted Tower is just that one single thing that I spent, like, days trying to find. How Haunted Tower had one secret that I just couldn't fucking find. It drove me crazy. Treetop is like, hey, here's an entire freaking open open world with, like, several cryptic things you gotta do. <laughs> yeah, I love... I, you just love shit like that. And it's like... Oh, there's a balloon. Can I fuck off out here already? No, okay, no. <laughs> but there's a gem right in front of him, and it's gonna make me talk to him. Yeah. Yep. Now you well, need I mean... the dragons to get... Uh, Get there. No, they stay. <gasps> stay here. Sorry, I've, I've just eaten. So, pardon the unpro unprofessionalism. <laughs> so again, I... when, I, when haven't I burped in, in playthroughs? Thank you. Um, I just ate too, and I also got a soda next to me at all times, like I always do. Yeah, I've got. I've still got a glass of diet coke, which I haven't finished yet. But I've got a bottle of water with me for when I have finished. Basically, I, I I've, 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 just, I've decided that obviously in, in these in the current climate where we're um, well, we're not rationing, but essentially we have to be um, <laughs> considerate with what we have because actually there's a diet coke shortage in at least in in uh, my town, like pretty much like the shop, really the big the big supermarket doesn't have any, and well I've I found apparently it's because um, I don't know if I might be totally wrong, but I heard from someone saying because it's originally from from China essentially or shipped from China. Yes. So because of that, from, from from Wuhan, China. Yeah. So because of that, it might actually possibly be um, like there may be a worldwide problem potentially. I don't know, or it may become wait, me, a wait. worldwide problem. Wait, are you talking about Diet Coke? Yeah. I thought we were talking about the fucking virus. I have no idea where Diet Coke comes from. <laughs> no. Yeah, I I just want to go to shop and get some Corona. <laughs> I didn't know why I thought. Uh, but okay, no, anyway, sorry, but, but I... yeah, I can't, I can't run a bit of a tangent there, but I know, like, there's apparently a Diet Coke shortage and all that shit, and I don't know why, but, like, um, essentially, what I'm doing is, because of this situation, some good can come from it, I'm not, I'm only drinking Diet Coke with meals, when I, I used to drink it quite a lot, to be fair, but now I'm only drinking it with meals, so I, um, I've got, like, yeah. pretty much the rest of my glass, and then I've got, um, a bottle of water with me, for afterwards because i pretty much drink a lot of water which i should be doing anyway dude tan tangents are fine like that's actually like almost <laughs> that's all my these is. days is like my my videos are turning more into like just the kind of podcasts about like what the hell i've been doing lately while just i happen to be playing a game in the background that's like what my content has turned into recently exactly and that's there's, only, the there's only so much you can there's only so many times you can say okay shit what am i missing let's walk over here now yeah oh and let's go over here and i've had i've had this discussion so many times in let's plays i kind of like that's why I'm always like, I like to be informative, but at the same time, I couldn't just be solely informative because I just feel like that. Did you get? Would did you get, get the key? Too boring. I've got the key, and that's all I'm. Okay, I'm go, go, go back. Go back to the hole where the hole where the flight level is. It's down that hole. Remember? Yeah, yeah. That's okay. Sorry, I just had to cut you off there, so you know what to do. But I also, I also had a way. box. I also had a box too. There was also a chest which I saw. Oh, was there? Okay. Yeah. But I didn't find that again. But like, yeah, my was... bad. So what were you saying though about tangents and whatnot? <laughs> Before, ironically, you interrupt. No, but like, um, I was. I remember I've had, this, I've had a discussion in the past about informative let's plays versus entertaining let's plays and or entertainment factor. And it's like I can't be too informative just because I've. I feel like my things get too dry. I think you mix up with another world, possibly. Because, yeah, I've said mm. there's a chest that it wasn't too far away from here. It was near that big temple thing. Oh, Shit. why? I thought it was down there. Why the hell did I think that? I'm sorry. I think there is another world. I You're think, right. I think it's one of the other world, old, older worlds. You're right. There, There is, um, it, it was by, like, the electric floors near the end. Like, right where the, by the balloonist. It was, like, right in that area. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Um, no, I think I was thinking of the freaking, um, the holy god dropped down into, um, in Dark Hollow. The first world. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. Yeah, no, 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 friggin' the first level, um, Stone Hill, that was it, Stone Hill had his hole he had to fall down to, that's where the lock chest was. Yeah. Oh, that might be everything. No, stop it. That's, that's, that's why, 
That's why I told you. That, that's why I stopped you. I'm like, hey, stop. Just get get the get the key. Get the chest. <laughs> nice, three hundred. Cool. I had forty five gems in there, but no, like I was trying to say, I th well, the first level is village, something village, isn't it? That's um, the, that's the vill village Terrence, ter something like that. That's the first one I want to go. That's the first one I saw. Which one's this one? Yeah, but that Misty. That's usually Bob. how it goes. Is like Misty Bob yeah. second. Really? Like the the. F sorry, sorry. <laughs> I keep stopping you. I'm sort of just talking as I'm going along. So Misty Bog second. Oh. Let me find the first world. Oh, I might as well see. Yeah, it, generally... The, the first world in the game is like the one world where they kind of just drop you into this open area. And just like, hey, yeah, here you go, roam free. But like, all the other worlds are pretty linear. So like, the order of the, the, order of the levels is pretty much like the order you find them in. Yeah. Like, if you just go through the level normally, the first one, the first, first one you'll see is this one. The second yeah. one you'll see is that one. Terrace yeah, the first world's the only odd one out. That's it, yep.